Hi everyone, I'm Andrew, the technical program manager for the energy team, and this is Sherlock. We're here to give you this week's update. So last week you heard about our dry room expansion project. That's ongoing. The walls and the floor frame are nearly complete. And once we have our uh, equipment in, we'll be putting that in that final setting, building those walls around it, and have a larger room to work in. The reason that we're expanding it is for more people and more equipment, and that's going to help us produce more cells. We're still on track for the 100 cells for the end of the year. Uh, we actually just got our electrolyte in, so very, very exciting about that. There were some custom issues, but it's all taken care of. And then in the meantime, we're going through a process called dry build, which just means the assembly techs we have are going through the process of what it would be like to build a cell without consuming raw materials. So it's just an efficient way to train up people, learn the process, create some documentation without taking any of those resources away. Uh, beyond that, we're looking into 2022 and what we need for, from people, processes, facility, raw materials. We've actually built some internal calculations that will help us project uh, year over year. So it's very exciting. I'm honestly kind of geeking out about it. And, uh, and then we have the XPXT team. They are going through requirements ongoing for the production model. They have just received a new CAD software called Inventor, and that will help uh, improve crosstalk between the engineers. And then lastly, we received our DMG lathe, uh, which is going to be used for test cutting steel gears. And eventually we intend to have more assembly occur in-house. That's the update for this week. Thank you for tuning in and we'll see you next time.